Hello, John here again from Procraft, so welcome back. Um, we're just going to touch on um, our bottle stopper mantle that we sell. Um, previously it was like this with a little washer and a nut. Uh, we have improved it slightly. Um, you now longer, no longer get a plain nut, you get a flange head nut. We do still supply a washer with it. Um, so that will pop on there. You can use the washer if you want to, but alternatively you can just still pop on um, one of the blanks straight onto the flange head and that's there and uh, tighten it up um, with of course the correct size spanner which is 13 mils and we're going to put that on here and what I'm going to show you in a minute is actually not about the mandrel but about um, our little sticky rubber feet um, which we also use to balance the end of a bottle stopper when we polished it. Okay. Um, this is just a, a scrap bit of wood just to show you um, the system and how we do it. Um, the bottle stopper blank is mounted on there and I'm going to bring the tail stock up here just to give it a little bit of support while we round off um, the start of the bottle stopper. Um, so I'm still going to get to the end of this now so what I really need to do is use the tool on the end of that and that will probably cause a little bit of chatter to make the machine a little bit quieter um, and it is going to be indeed um, a rather odd shaped bottle stop of this one because I've got my blanks a little bit longer than it should be. Uh, if you're happy with that shape then and we'll just um, tidy that up just a tiny little bit um, increase the speed slightly. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just briefly sand the end of that uh, and seal it um, and then we can bring, uh, use a little rubber foot um, to bring up and support this end while we cut the rest of the bottle stopper. I'll show you what I mean. Right, I'm just going to briefly sand off the end of this um, bottle stopper here. A bit of cedar on there. Didn't take long to dry. A little bit of friction polish. I'll turn the lathe off so you can hear me a bit better. Is look at the other end of the lathe, the tailstock. Now everyone's tailstock is going to be different, um, but we've basically cut a little bit of scrap wood here. Um, and this fits over our tail stock like that. And what we do is we sell here in another part of my cupboard this um, little sticky rubber feet. And I'm going to take this little sticky rubber foot and I'm just going to pop it on the end of that scrap bit of wood there. I'll pop it on there. Ok, I'll turn the lathe off, um, so you can see I've cut that bit of wood um, with the support on. If I now release the end, you will see that the polished end remains the same, so there's been no damage or anything to that, and we could have finished off the bottle stopper, strange shape that it is, with that little bit of support. So that is literally just um, a scrap bit of wood with a little rubbery end, just to support that um, bottle stopper on there or anything else that you may get some slight chatter on. Um, they cost a couple of pence each, we sell them in packs of 20, uh, but they are extremely useful. Um, to, uh, to Okay, so here is a, um, the pack of uh, PKR SRF uh, stick-on rubber feet. They can be used for many things other than uh, what I'm showing you for today, but it's a use that some people don't, uh, maybe don't consider. And there they are, they come in a, a pack of uh, 20, um, two strips of 10 there, and that's what they actually look like when they're on a little bit of scrap wood, and it is just scrap wood, you do need a live tail stock, um, but that little bit of rubber, just a little bit of sponge, just helps protect the end of your bottle stopper, or whatever else you've got on the uh, 
the lathe on a mandrel just to stop any movement and chatter when it's polished off. So I hope that's been useful and once again if you need to get in touch please do, we're always happy to talk to any of our customers. Uh, you can drop us an email or you can uh, follow us on Facebook and message us there. Thanks again for watching.